Hello, my fabulous kindergartners. I am so excited to get to read you all a story today. I have chosen to read the story, Stick and Stone, written by Beth Ferry. This is a story about a stick and a stone who become each other's best friends and they help each other out when needed. By the end of the story, you will understand how important it is to have a good friend and to be a good friend to others. The illustrations throughout this story will not only help you understand the text, but they will also show you the true meaning of having a good friend. Kirkus Reviews states that this story is a light and enjoyable approach to a recognizable narrative about making and helping friends. The book list talks about two of the characters in this story, Stick and Stone, and states that these two characters are a delight to know, and the irresistible cadence of the text should make this story a repeat favorite. Now let's get started reading. Stick and Stone, written by Beth Ferry and illustrated by Tom Lickenheld. Stick, Stone. Lonely, alone. A zero, a one. Alone is no fun. Stick, stone. Along comes pine cone. Makes fun of stone. Won't leave him alone. Vanish, says Stick. Do any of you know what the word vanish means? As you can see in the illustration, Stick is pointing at Pinecone and signaling him to go away. The word vanish is simply a different word for disappear. Vanish and disappear both mean to go away. His word does the trick. Stone whispers, gee, you stuck up for me. That's just what sticks do. Friends do it too. Stick, stone, no longer alone. Stick, stone, a friendship has grown. They wander, explore. Wander, what does that word mean? In the illustration, stick and stone are strolling through the field. Wander and stroll both mean the same thing. Another word for wander would be walking without a purpose. Lays by the shore. Then thunder and rain. Boom! A loud hurricane. Have any of my friends ever heard of a hurricane before? As you can see in the picture, it is very stormy and rainy. The sky is so dark and gloomy. A hurricane is a very strong storm that has very fast winds. It also has a lot of rain. These storms take place near the ocean and last about a week long. They are very, very strong storms. Stick is windblown. There goes Pinecone. Hold on, calls out Stone. Again, he's alone. Search day. Stick, stick, stick. And search night. No stick in sight. What's this? A huge puddle? Stick stuck in the muddle. Stone rescues him quick. Cowabunga! Curse bloosh! Do any of my friends know what the word rescue means? The word rescue means to save or help someone. If there was a fire in a house, a firefighter would go and rescue whoever was inside. Stone is doing the same thing for Stick. He is saving him or rescuing him. You rock stone, says Stick. That's just what stones do. Best friendship rocks too. Stick, stone, together again. Stick, stone, 
A perfect ten. To the end. That is the end of the story. Do any of my friends remember our vocabulary words that we learned throughout the story? The first word that we learned is banish. Banish means to go away or disappear. The second word that we learned was wander. Wander means to stroll or walk without a purpose. The third word that we learned was hurricane. A hurricane is a big storm with strong winds. It also has a lot of rain and they're very damaging. These storms take place along the ocean. Our final vocabulary word that we learned was rescue. Rescue means to save or help someone. Now that we are finished reading the story, I hope that you can all see the importance of having a good friend and being a good friend. When you have a good friend, they're always there to make your bad days better and to help you out. I hope that you all enjoyed this book and want to read it again. This book is always a good reminder of why it is so important to be a good friend and to have a good friend. Thank you for participating in this read aloud video. Until next time, my friends. Bye.